<laughs> okay, so the message is this. Okay, here you have Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, right? Okay, so all that deliberating, instead of deliberating, put energy into all the cups. And I feel like uh, if you don't feel like you have that energy, the unlimited supply to source, connect more. Now, the other thing is also you don't want to overextend yourself and feel like you, you're overwhelmed or burdened. So what you want to do is... Take one step, another step, another step, another step. And I feel like in that way, you'll come to this conclusion. Okay. If you're not sure. Whatever it is, you want it to be fair. You want it to be truthful. You don't, you don't want things to be hidden. You want it to be out in the open. And you want this. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is like the Sagittarius energy. So maybe the key is, is just to move with your fire energy within, right? And... It's interesting, I never noticed this before. Look at all this studying here. Okay, so that was coming up. Journaling and reading love stories that have a happy ending, watching movies that have a happy ending, and um, those are the kind of things, uh, listening to love songs with happy endings or happiness. Um, journaling where you want to go vision board you can make a vision board and cut out a bunch of magazines and put what you want uh you know and and it sounds kind of uh as an adult right even if you're like 80 you can do that and you feel like this again right so it's like doing those kinds of things and if you have children you can do it with your kids and that would like also, uh, show them ways of being optimistic and hopeful for the future. Okay. And I'll leave you with that, Libra. Scorpio. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Ooh, being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe. Ooh, I like that. I feel a lot of support here, Scorpio. Flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. Coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. Okay. Ooh, revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. Looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. Ooh, it's all about reaching for the light here. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Okay, so this came up before. It's like, if you're going to reach in the past, reach into positive things, right? Because I feel like that's a trigger point for you, for someone. Okay, it's like looking into the past and what didn't work and then feeling defensive. And this may be subconscious, but then being extra cautious and not opening up to uh, 
whatever, your person or things like that. So I feel like that's important there. That came up before. Yeah, that's going to have you feeling like not coming together with somebody. Okay. So, okay. So some of you want... Okay, so some of you might have been dating other people, and I feel like you want to move towards this kind of one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of thing. Okay, all right, so here's the Queen of Cups. That potential is here. Okay, but you got to bring this, the warmth, right? I feel like. Okay, so if you've come into contact with an air sign, thank it. Whatever happened doesn't matter. Thank it. Because I feel like whatever that was was helping you to look deeper within yourself, too. So whatever that is, just thank it and then release it. Yeah, release it. That's what it's calling for. Okay. And then bam. Right. Okay. So you and your person. That'll bring in this passion. It's going to take courage on some of your parts, I feel like. Yep. And take, take pauses and breaks when you need it, right? Follow your intuition and let things flow. But the key is, is to be open and honest about how you feel about this person. Because I feel like for some of you, this person came from a person who uh, wasn't opening up. So that's going to be your way to success here. Okay, I leave you with that. Sagittarius, taking action. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Okay, so I feel like there's some job opportunities opening up for people. Okay, and uh, so be on the lookout is what I'm, I'm getting. Be ready and be on the lookout. Okay. Okay, so also um, they're showing me go online and look into uh, careers that you would have never thought of and look into that because there's opportunities there, right? And um, by doing that kind of search work, Googling, then um, those probabilities will be more likely to come in because you've focused on it. Okay. And then spirit will know more of what you want and can bring it to you, right? Whatever this new thing is that you're reaching for. Okay. And that will be very abundant. Okay. And whatever this was, it will trump whatever feeling you had in the past that wasn't working out. Okay, for some of you, that was an earth sign or air sign that you had some sort of entanglements with. And then there, this is the new phase. Uh, this is the new step. Okay, and um, so there's great improvement here. Okay, so the, what it's asking for then is to wash, wash the framework of the past and uh, start with a pure, uh, clean slate and uh, let the new flow in. Yeah, then you'll be able to flip this. Yeah, and see this chariot is reversed, so that's not taking action. So you want to take action. And this is your winning card. Taking action is your winning card. Okay. And also the suggestion is leave any kind of... Um, find 
ways to uh, be more peaceful within your own energy and then you won't feel triggered and uh, you won't be using your fire energy to um, spar back is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's like leave that and then use your passion towards your uh, abundance. Yeah, because that had you kind of juggling your energy to kind of stabilize. Okay, so it's like asking you to leave it. All right. And then this can happen. Because spirit is helping. Oh. Yeah. See? Magician... It's like using that fire in a productive way. All right, leave you with that. Thank you. Capricorn. Woo! Look into the future. <laughs> okay, what do you seek? Ooh, expand your universe. Oh, I love this. This is nice. This energy feels really good. All right. Yeah, it, it's like if you feel out those places, right, and really kind of use that third eye and all of your eyes, I feel like uh, then the substance can form into what you're trying to do here. Wow, interesting. So uh, it's like, okay, I'm getting that I'm a fighter. Um, what is that song? Yeah, Christina Aguilera, I'm getting. Okay, something, something made me a little bit stronger and made me um, a little bit, uh, I'm a fighter, something like that. That's what I'm picking up. So if we got Sagittarius and, uh, cusping energy, you don't want to fight to with people. You want to use that energy towards your creation. And that came up in the Sagittarius. So if you're cusping energy, that message is for you. And this is the past. And it caused you all kinds of uh, entanglements there. And so this year, we don't want to do that. See, this is just, that was the next card. This year, we don't want to do that. Okay, so for some of you, the idea of competition got you. Okay, so what is meant for you is meant for you. And so if you stay focused on you and what you're creating and doing, the abundance of that will flow in. But if you're focused on the competition and what they're doing, that is like um, opening up your universe for funky stuff to come in. So that message is for somebody. Yeah. And, you know, it's like we all can win. That's the thing. When one person rises, we all rise because we're a collective energy. It's not like one person is gaining all this stuff. So um, I w whoever this is for, I would start looking into that. And that, that my friend, <laughs> is uh, your new year here, 2022. Okay. <laughs> all right. That explained it all. Okay. Aquarius.
whatever is the subject that's bothering you, okay, so if if it's love, focus on money. If it's, or some other subject, if it's money that's bothering you, focus on love. That's what I'm getting. So find some other ways to focus. And the way to do that is to maybe get out of the subject and focus on this, the Neptune energy, the dream world. Okay, something's going to click in here, and I feel like uh, something about the sun transit. And uh, so what you want to do is illuminate your dream world, okay, and, stay, and illuminate your mind through that dream work. Okay, and then I feel like doing that more and spending more time there, okay, uh, will have that flowing into uh, this year by this summer, and you'll see the results of that. So long-term goals, feel those places out, okay, and... Um, the key, I feel like, to this whole thing is love. Okay, so even if it's like giving love to your dog or, um, you know, a little spider that's in your house and you, you catch the spider and put it outside, those are all karmic points, I feel like. So it's like uh, do what you can to help out, right? And I feel like that kind of energy uh, will come back fully um, by the summer. It's like you're not doing it to see the return. You're just doing it, practicing, moving that heart. Okay. And bam. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. New beginnings. All right. Pisces. Some of you still trying to temper emotions around your water sign person. Okay, so, but I feel like in the past where um, maybe you ran away. Uh, I feel like you want to harmonize with whatever that is. Okay. So I feel like you're you're becoming more honest with yourself about what you really want, right? I feel like somehow um, you fell into some sort of maybe you're wear, wearing the veils, or uh, there was some sort of illusion there that you thought something was one thing and it wasn't. Okay, but here's your new reality here, ready to step in. Okay, so now what? Okay, so. What's this? Woo! Okay, so some of you, this is interesting, where you... Okay, for some of you, you had a child, and you wanted union with your person, and you didn't talk about it. You didn't, you didn't express what you wanted with that person, so they didn't know that you wanted to be with them, like, as in commitment. Okay, so we got to get in the practice of uh, letting people know things, right? Okay. So, for some of you, that is whoever you've had a child with, there is this marriage potential here. Okay. And it's going to be known publicly. 
keep working. It's something tangible, something that you can see in this reality. Okay, I feel like for some of you, that's the next step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so some of you have uh, maybe, um, hmm. Okay. So. If you have a child here, back here. Okay. Maybe that takes a lot of energy. Okay, so just listen to your own body here. This is Virgo and Mercury, and healing is in this too. So listen to your own body and get quiet and tune into your body. And by doing that, it's going to let you know what nutrients you need, what, what to ingest mentally and physically, and, uh, and then you will have improvement here. And uh, so it's like an alchemical change here in the body, physical apparatus. Okay, so, and that can happen, right? If you have a child. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, it's, okay, so it's like this. Okay, so if you feel, uh, take naps and when you need it. Um, and uh, light walks, right? Okay, light walks, and um, and take in that oxygen. That's what I'm getting. Like take in that oxygen, right? Because that's the breath of life. Okay, and uh, so okay, so it's like here. There's two people walking outside. And, and getting fresh air and so take that opportunity to breathe in the air and when you're in a fresh environment that's what I'm getting okay and take in that oxygen I feel like that's the key uh, thing here and then uh, okay so for example um, you get quiet and let's say you don't get any messages okay <laughs> but you are that's what's interesting okay so but you are getting the messages even if you don't hear anything or uh the blocks of energy are there so then what happens you go to the grocery store and as you're moving around in the grocery store the impulses the, the source energy will come through and it'll help you look in the direction of the thing that you need for your body so be willing to try new healthy things. Okay, that's um, that's a message for somebody in Pisces, and I leave you with that. Thank you.